Hi my lovelies and welcome to tonight's video. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you my own personal full moon forgiveness ritual. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get into it. So the full moon is the perfect time to let go, to let go of, of things. It's a time of completion. So this is my own personal ritual. Find a quiet place, find um, a place where you won't be disturbed. For me, I'll come up to my bedroom, which is here. I will put my pretty lights on, and but I will actually knock the big light off. I like some candles and just make a nice, calm, relaxing atmosphere. I like some incense. It'll just be nice and relaxing. Then you just need a pen and paper. So I will sit down and you need to think about somebody or something that you need to forgive. So a person or a situation, or an event, something that you need to forgive. Once you've done that, you need to write down, if it's a person, write down the person's name. This is what I do, you can do your own variation of it. But I will write down their name. I did this, like I said, I did this last full moon as well for somebody that's hurt me. Write their name, then write, I forgive you, then write, I send you love, and then I write, goodbye, I now let you go. Once I've written that down, before I even move on to the next person or the next thing that I need to forgive, then I will sit there, I will do it like a mini meditation, so I'll visualise this person in my mind as clear as I can, I'll visualise myself forgiving them, and then you can do your own variation of this. If you don't feel comfortable sending this person love, you can skip that bit if you want to. But I find it so healing to do this, so I highly recommend it. But what I do is I, whilst I'm visualising this person, <laughs> I visualise my heart growing bigger and bigger, and then I push it towards them. So <laughs> I'm physically, in my mind, sending them my love and helping them to heal from whatever issues they have. Then I hug them in my mind, hug them goodbye, and I wave goodbye. And that is how I do the first part. Now, you need to keep doing this. Sometimes the first time you do it, it will be, you'll feel like it's done. You'll feel, oh, that feels good. It's not completed yet, but it will feel kind of good to you. Once you get that feeling that it doesn't feel icky or bad anymore, then you can move on to the next person. And you keep doing this. You can, you can write one person, you can write 10 pages. You keep on until you've got everything that you need to forgive, everyone that you need to forgive on that list. And every single month, I include myself on the list. So if there's something that I need to forgive myself for, I will write it down. There's always something. Um, so for example, um, it could be that I haven't had as much time with my children as I would have wanted and I'm feeling really guilty about it and um, it's eating away at me. But I need to realise that the reason um, I haven't spent so much time with them as I'd like to is because I've been focusing on work and the reason I focus on work is because I want to make money and I want to make money to support my family it's all for them so I forgive myself for that by work I mean YouTube <laughs> not making money yet but that's my goal is to try and make this work for my family so I will write down Natalie I don't need to put my last name because I know who I am <laughs> I will write down Natalie I forgive you, I send you love, and send you healing, but I do not say goodbye and I let you go, obviously, because that's about myself. So then I will do my little meditation, I will visualize myself, I will visualize myself as if there's two people forgiving myself, giving myself love and giving myself a hug, but it's not a hug goodbye, it's just a hug for comfort and healing and love. So once you've finished your list, this is optional, this is something else that I 
don't always do this one but if I need to I do you can start a new list um, I wouldn't say put too many on this next one things that you would like to let go of things that you would like to end so this could be a bad habit that you have um, you know things like procrastination maybe you want to stop procrastinating you want to let go of procrastination just for an example um, anything you want anything you want to let go of so write that down and write down I no longer procrastinate I let procrastination go and again visualize if you're a procrastinator visualize yourself getting up and doing things, getting things done, not having distractions, you get the idea. Okay, you've finished your list making. Um, the first one may have been quite emotional for you, especially if somebody has really hurt you. I always find it very, very emotional. And if you do end up in tears doing the forgiveness um, exercise, let the tears drop onto the paper. It's very symbolic. Your tears are going onto the forgiveness paper and when we dispose of it, they will be going with it. I love that idea. And it's something that I do as well. So now what you do is you go outside, if you can. Um, if you, you know, if it's really raining or if you live somewhere that you can't do this outside, you can do it by a window, but please, please be safety conscious and make sure um, there's no hazard here, be as safe as you can. Um, but what I do is go outside um, and hopefully from my garden I can see the full moon on the particular night. Look up at the full moon and then I set the piece of paper alight and I just watch it burn. And as it's burning, I visualise these people floating out of my life with the smoke of the fire off the paper. But I don't do it in a, a negative way. I see them, it's as if I'm freeing them, I'm letting them go, um, I'm freeing myself, really. But sometimes I like to visualize them floating away with smiles on their faces, off to live their own lives. Um, yeah, and it just feels so, so good especially standing looking at the moon at the same time and that's my full moon forgiveness and also don't forget the full moon is the perfect time to charge your crystals and it's also the perfect time to make moon water and if you haven't seen my video on moon water and how to make it i'll put the link right here for you so if you want to go and check that out and make some moon water tonight as well that'd be really cool Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it helpful because this ritual really does help me. Because when we forgive, we're not condoning what this person or these people did. We're actually freeing ourselves. Because I say this quite a lot, but when we hold hurt, anger, resentment inside us, the only person that it hurts is us. It's only hurting you if you're holding on to those feelings. I've learned that the hard way. So I encourage you to try this ritual, see how it makes you feel. And trust me, when you watch that paper burn and watch these people floating away, smiling, off to live their lives without you, it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. It really is. And you feel well, I personally feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <sighs> Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I would love to welcome you to the family. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you did enjoy it. And also, for those of you who do actually do this ritual, please comment below after you've done it and let me know how it made you feel. I would love to hear your experiences if you feel comfortable sharing them with me, of course. Lots of love to you all, my lovely, wonderful YouTube family. Big hug and I will see you all in my next video.